It's 3, 2, 1, let's go. Alright guys, welcome back to Life's Breeze with Matt and Steve. If you just watched our last video, we went through our coffee liqueurs and whiskeys. Yeah. Uh, we both agreed that the Journeyman was really, really good. Yep. Uh, but I told him at the end of the day, McGillicuddy is the best uh, coffee liqueur, especially for the money. Uh, if you take the money out of it, it's still damn close to being the best. How much is the Journeyman? Almost the same price. They're, they're within like a $3. Difference. Okay. All right. So, I mean, you are getting a better product, but Journeyman, all day long, I will agree. But what are you doing with it? You're going to mix it anyway. Yeah. So, at this point, the McGillicuddy's, I think, is where it at. Because it gives you everything you want. It really does, Steve. It does. And for you... You know I'm, you have, a, I'm a huge I was going to say, you have fan. drank enough of this. You know. So, at, in between shoots, he was arguing with me about the, the coffee liqueurs. I was saying that this one... Is probably the best I've ever had. You saw that in the last video. I tried it. My very first gut instinct reaction was, was to say excellent. that it is the best I've ever had. Smell that. It's very coffee. It's it's sweet. It's coffee. I have no doubt that McGillicuddy's is going to be great. It's really good. That's a coffee liqueur. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. This is more than a coffee liqueur. Okay. That's the problem I have. Okay, let's see what we got. So, for a coffee liqueur, I want very coffee, maybe some sweetness. Okay. Uh, maybe like a little bit of a caramel or like a butterscotch almost like undertone. This one. You just invented a triple mix with words in your head. No, I know I did. <laughs> We're going to do the double in a second. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. All right, cheers, buddy. Cheers, brother. All day. See, I actually get coffee syrup out of this more so than I get out of Absolutely, that. but this one actually also goes down a little bit smoother. Oh, it does. It really does. Uh, uh, if I'm one, drinking it by itself, this is I would do this all day long. There, there's there's other flavors that play in it. There are. There's some there's something else going on. Yeah, it's almost like a very low off cinnamon flavor, like there, there's maybe like a little fig, like there, there's a little some cacao undertone. in there. Yeah, there's some undertones of other things. This is coffee liqueur. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. Cut uh, and dry coffee liqueur. I will never, I will never knock McGillicuddy's for its ability to be super versatile in anything. And as as a coffee liqueur that I would add to a cocktail, hundred percent. Right. I, I I will always support McGillicuddy's. I could take the uh, worst like seven hour burnt coffee. Yeah. And add this to it. And have an incredible coffee. We've done it numerous right. times. Uh, trying to get through a Sunday at Jasters. <laughs> but Trying I'll, to give me PTSD? Yeah. Ugh. Sorry. But uh, I mean, I'll tell you what. Is this the mix? This is the journey uh, mix. I, I would still, if, if I had to drink it by itself over rocks, this all day. Journeyman. You ready for the journey mix? The journey mix. Ooh. The journey mix. That's awesome. That with some butterscotch and vanilla later, that's going to be outstanding. That'll probably be our last video of the night. I would pour that over Not ice cream. One, the, oh my god! Yeah, like some French vanilla. Okay. Yeah, uh, or like a vanilla bean. Make my own Java chip. Yeah. <laughs> that's fantastic. Maybe zest a coffee bean over the top. Get okay. real fancy. I can. Ooh. You yeah, you're getting real fancy on it. Shake. You know, maybe put it in a shake, shake with some cream. coffee beans, and then pour it over. Oh, yeah. Keep that in there. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know. What about a little cardamom? Coriander? Some, is that what you said? Some coriander. Coriander? I wouldn't. A little coriander? Just a little bit? Maybe an orange zest. You know, this is the second time that we're referencing and uh, doing a shout-out to Crazy Carlos. I think it's like our third time, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh... We wait, got wait another one coming at you. Gin again. Oh well, <laughs> lavender, yeah. coriander, a little bit of lavender. Um, you'll understand that later. I'll uh, put my Carlos hat on for that. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. As always, life's breeze with Matt and Steve. Uh, all right, so subscribe on my face if you're on YouTube. Uh, if you're on Instagram, be sure to uh, tag our videos so that they pop up in your feed. We'll see you next time, uh, us next time, huh? What are you saying? <laughs>
<laughs> You'll see us next time. But I didn't say. I'll right. see us next but time. Thanks, well, no, thanks for calling me out on that one. That's I'm awesome. Just, I'm as lost as they are, Steve. <laughs>